This is not your rock bottom. Providing, protecting, being great dad, being a great guy. They don't work in marriage. I can't wait to talk about this with my wife. Your wife withholding sex from you. I'm Cass. I'm Catherine. Hey, welcome to the Moral Marriage Podcast. And guys, if you're getting true value, you're inspired, hopefully with faith and not hope, because we came back from the depths of hell and we want to show you a better way. I'm not falling for this again. Job sex on a billboard. Why you don't need the apology. We're moral marriage. Let's flip divorce statistics with the new marriage. Welcome to the Moral Marriage Podcast, guys. And today we're going to tell you all about this is not your rock bottom. Oh, it's going to be hard for people to understand and it's going to be scary for some of you. But you know, like I told you in last episode, transparency. Okay. The reason why this is important to understand is rock bottom is typically what happens when we have the catalyst for change, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, Desperation happens at rock bottom. Yeah. Now, if we use relationships as an example, you know, your partner's leaving you, your partner's having an affair, your partner serves you with divorce papers, your partner screams and kicks, kicks you in the balls, whatever it is. Okay. All the bad stuff. All the disrespect you can't. Is anybody kicking the balls? I uh, know. I just say that. I mean, I haven't come across that yet. I Not just since like that. junior high school, middle yeah, school. Yeah. No. Um, but regardless, the, the point is something, something bad really happens. Your partner says like, this isn't going to work or this isn't or, or whatever, all those examples. And you go, Oh my gosh. Rock and bottom. It's rock bottom. Okay. Cass brother, I've been watching your content for a while. I've been listening to your podcast. I really want to get into your program. Okay, cool. Here's the thing. It's not your rock bottom. You think it is because the rug got pulled out. Potentially along the way, there was lots of things you tried to fix that were rock bottom for you. So just hit, hit this home a little bit. Long before the rock bottom that got you to do a program, potentially at least you were thinking. That was your rock bottom in that moment. And then here's what happens. When you start to really invest, you're like, okay, shit, I've been doing some research. Cass and Catherine are like the only ones that actually saved their marriage. Oh, wait, that guy's clearly copying Cass's content. Oh, okay, wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, wait, that coach doesn't cover this, this, and this, and this. You start asking the right questions. You pick the program. Cool. You're in. And you start going. And then what happens with your partner? Your partner starts to challenge you. Because you, the partner that, that gave you the rock bottom, I'll say, that pushed you into the rock bottom, okay, is the partner that doesn't really believe or trust. Okay. They're the ones that don't feel safe. They're the ones that are like, this is hopeless. And they're the ones that have gone the extra mile now. Now, if you've done a good job of not blaming them, you started to take responsibility. Of course, there's lots to learn about that process, but you, you've at least got enough responsibility. That's why we're on the phone. You're like, great. Then what happens next? What happens next? Well, you're the big bad race car when you learn how to be the new man. Okay. <laughs> and I don't know what Catherine would describe it as, you know, the beautiful white fence board. I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, um, she has the white picket fence, if you don't know. Yeah, you're not right, the fence. So, you're behind the fence uh, in the house God. with everything that you ever wanted. There you go. You're yeah. a fe your fencer. You're, yeah. I call him fencer. white picket yeah. fencer. Yeah. 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 So when you become this new man, the Lord, along the way, this big bad race car, you're running around the track consistently and you are going to have new rock bottoms because and this isn't always the case, but she... In, in my case, what I'm thinking about was a couple of guys this week where everything is going great, exactly as expected, but she starts to run into the side of your car. And I mean, run you off the track. She wants to drive over these guys, not these guys. The, there's several wives. Their the specific yeah. husband. Yeah, yeah. Specific We're not husband. driving over, over everybody's husbands, just your own. <laughs> That's right. Stay in your lane, ladies. Here's, here's what it is. <laughs> the next rock bottom is actually a metaphorical rock bottom. It's where you start to start to feel the shame. You start to feel the guilt of all the mistakes. I would have, should have, could have that. Oh my gosh. What if I would have just listened to her back then? And none of this allows you to look forward and be the future. You, you start to do a lot of the same things, or at least manage yourself the same way you would have when you were trying to fix the relationship. You start to go back and guess what you should do or completely listen to your partner when your partner's coming from a place of massive hurt and possibly destruction. So they can't lead you. They can't guide you. They can't even answer your freaking questions with why they're really hurt. You guys got to start to own this. If you're the one who's struggling in a relationship, you know, you should just know all that high school crap that you pull. You actually have no clue. Otherwise, if you were a person with integrity and transparency, like I described in the last episode, you would just say, well, I don't like when you, or the episode talk about with porn today. Like you just say, well, I just, I don't like the fact that you watch porn. Like you guys, 
then facilitate this new rock bottom that's not necessarily any different. I say to my guys all the time, I don't care if she serves you divorce papers today. None of that is because of what you're doing today. I don't care why you looked at 365. You're not supposed to. Life 360. Life, yeah, the tracker app or whatever. <laughs> you're not supposed to do that in my program. You're not supposed to facilitate the next step or level of rock bottom. You start to manifest all of these things. So where this came from for an idea for a podcast today was – a man was very scared. He knows that when they're separated, the trend is she goes into the city and then she'll find a reason. If he'll, if she does, she'll send the reason over on a text why she hates him. And the next morning I slept with someone. Okay. Who? She or he? She, she. And so it's not like he's been perfect in their past either, but all right. This, where this came from was what we talked about the way you think. So if you're already in that rock bottom, and now you've got this scary thing about to happen. You first start to manifest. So this could be how you text back, how you question. What do you send for a text in the first place? Wait a minute. You're not even questioning. Should I be texting right now? Should I be even questioning? The answer is fucking no. But anyway, then, then what happens is you potentially make that happen. You give her the reason she hates because you know the pattern. You create the rock bottom and you make it happen. And now she's screaming at you because she feels guilty. But she doesn't want to feel guilty. We're done in her mind. It's the Ross and Rachel. We're on a break. We're on a break. We're on a break. Okay. And like, you, you have to understand, you almost always make these things happen yourself. You guys do this with everything, with work too, right? Uh, actually, Rob, this morning, good example. Then he worked out the first time yesterday. So today he comes in and he was like, I, I couldn't even hold my coffee cup up, I think is what he said. And he, he's like, doesn't know if he should work out. He's afraid. It's a new rock bottom. That was the worst experience of my life. Yeah, but then he goes and works out again. He feels good. And now he's like, great. You create a fake false rock bottom instead of just understanding you can create the way you want it to go. We don't know if the girl is going to go sleep with somebody. I guess I'll find out today. Okay, what kind of text he got. We don't even know if that's real if that text comes out. Okay, if she says she did. Number one, she could be just pushing your buttons. All right. So you need to start thinking about all the assumptions and realize if you're going to assume the worst, start assuming the best. It's much like affirmation statements, right? Give her Convince credit. yourself. Yeah, it Remind really Remind yourself. Speak it into being. Mm -hmm. Stop speaking negativity and speaking death. And hoping your life will change. Yeah, don't hope. You know? Move don't, forward. You, you can spend some time preparing for the worst. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we do lots of role play on many of the calls that are part of the program. But like, at the end of the day... You, you should be really thinking about what's presently happening. And the only other exception would be, what do I need to do presently to create the future that I want? That's it. Super simple. Or you facilitate all the shit you don't want. Always. If you, if you know that the things that you don't want in life, oh, my boss isn't going to give me that promotion. Oh, it's going to take me like three years to lose all this weight. Well, do you know what? You're not going to feel that freaking motivated pep up and be exciting and awesome and super hilarious, but to the point. So your boss wants to give you the job, right? You're not going to want to step in front of the gym. You're going to make yourself intimidated by the people that look better than you. It's the same thing with your spouse. You're going to be uneasy and you're going to create the next rock bottom. And most of the time that's fucking fake. The rock bottom you're experiencing right now is just the truth of everything that happened already. Yes. That's it nothing. Yeah. That's, I, you're not actually, a, you're just, you're at a, a vantage point where you can see all the crap that's already happened. That's, that's all that is. That's it. I tell my guys. Yeah. But if, if I do that, she's going to block me. Yeah. If I do that, she's going to, um, sorry, I don't tell my guys, this is what they're saying. Yeah. But I do that. She's going to block me. If I do that, she's going to serve me. If I do that, she's going to leave. If I do that. No, listen, she's going to do that anyway. She probably was. I tell them you could be jaywalking. There's no cops around. <laughs> And you still get a ticket and she's going to serve you divorce papers. If that's where she's at, it's already all happened. The big one for this is when people invest in a program, like a coaching program. Oh, she left me over the money. Dude, she didn't leave you over that payment. It ain't that one. No. It's not the rock bottom. No. Okay? You're making it up and it's holding you back. And keep in mind, when you're like, oh, but if I do that, she. Oh, if I do that, he. That's what we exactly talked about. Exactly, where you are perpetuating and you are acting differently. You are not going in confidence and you are making the life you don't want happen. So stop it. Stop okay. it.
All right, guys, we got lots to do because we got a launch party for the book in two days. I know it's out by the time you saw this. So Disrupting Divorce, The New Men, and my beautiful wife writes the forward. This is the step-by-step -step system for my whole program, The Marriage Reset. Guys, go disrupt divorce with us. Go get your life. All right. Bye. See ya.